I'm Alison Steele, the Nightbird, with a Woodstock Minute. Very few people realize that most groups appearing at the Woodstock Festival did not make it into the Woodstock movie. Artists such as Leslie West and Mountain, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and the Jefferson Airplane. But the most glaring error was the omission of Larry Fine of the Three Stooges, whose backstage contributions were the backbone of the festival. Oh boy, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, who is that ugly broad? Janet Joplin? I wouldn't f her with Shemp's d. Yes, Larry Fine was feeling no pain. Hey, Mo, I'm getting dizzy. What's hashish? It wasn't long before the crowd was won over by Larry as he led them in the infamous rain chant. Hey, come on, you ass. It's raining out. We gotta make it stop raining. Larry got to know stars like Jimi Hendrix. Hey, Jimmy, is it my imagination or has Santana's drummer been taking a solo for a day and a half? <laughs> hey, man, Larry, you are so cool. Thanks, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, who's the darky with the needle in his arm? That's my good friend. We experiment with drugs together. Larry was asked to make several stage announcements, which wasn't so easy because he was drunk. Oh, please don't eat the brown asses. I'm warning you, please get off those towers. I had long hair before any of you jerk offs. Get on off those towers, you hard ons. Don't eat the brown asses, I'm warning you. And somebody find me a whore. Larry advised many of the up and coming stars like Country Joe and the Fish. Hey, Mr. Fine, excuse me, you got a minute? Hey, Country, how you doing? Hey, what are you and the Fish is gonna do when you get out on stage? Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I got no ideas. I got it. Why don't you go out there and spell f Hey, man. Great idea. Now get out there before I take an axe handle to your colon. Country Joe was truly inspired. Give me an F. Go for it, Country. Give me a U. Hey, don't forget the K at the end. Larry doubted his usefulness at Woodstock, but he soon realized he was an integral part of the festival. In one of Larry's last recorded interviews, he spoke in great detail about the three days of peace and love. What do you remember about Woodstock? Well, I felt out of place until I saw Shana Na. Did you do drugs? I said to Mo, let's trip. We have nothing to lose. I tie-dyed my hair. Was there alcohol abuse? Oh, yes. I started drinking when I heard Crosby, Stills and Nash. To this day, if you listen to Crosby, Stills, and Nash, you could hear faintly in the background a drunken Larry Fine singing along with the group. It's getting to the point where I'm no fun anymore. <laughs> Larry Fine, not just one of the Three Stooges, but an integral part of the Woodstock Festival. Mo gave Jimmy the lighter fluid idea for lighting the guitar. So you take credit for that? Yeah, I said let the Schwarzer light himself on fire and his stupid guitar. Are you bitter about Woodstock? Bitter? Hell yeah! Those fakakta schnooks at Warner Brothers stiffed me on the movie deal for Woodstock. Larry Fine, the forgotten stooge. I'm Allison Steele with another Woodstock Minute.